these are my impressions of the TP-Link Talon AD7200 router. It's the first and fastest Wi-Fi AD router on the planet. This is a review of a free product received from TP-Link for testing and feedback as part of their review program. The Talon AD7200 router has a dual core 1.4 GHz CPU, two USB 3 ports, and supports four stream, four lane technology on all bands. Nine blue LED indicators and three push buttons are on the front panel. It has a black matte finish. WAN and LAN are gigabit ports. Dimensions are 9 by 9 by 1.7 inches. The 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands use eight folding antennas on top. When the folding external antennas stand up, three inches are added to the height. The AD band uses an internal integrated array of 32 antennas to focus data transmissions. One of the best features is my Roku TVs being able to play picture slideshows and stream videos from disk drives connected to the USB 3 ports. Wi-Fi 802.11ad is the new, latest, and greatest wireless standard. TP-Link's Talon AD7200 is the world's first and fastest Wi-Fi 802.11ad router. On its Wi-Fi AD 60 gigahertz band, this router streams data up to a blazingly fast speed of 4.6 gigabits per second. That's up to four times faster than a traditional hard wire gigabit ethernet cable, up to 10 times faster than 802.11ac, up to 30 times faster than 802.11n. The AD band is not just for the internet. It's also used for locally streaming 4K content. AD increases reliability because with greater bandwidth, there's more room to deal with packet loss. I can't wait for AD to be more prevalent so I can do away with wires. The Talon AD7200 will be good for gamer LAN parties. No wires. There is, however, a trade-off. The higher 60 GHz frequency reduces coverage and range. Wi-Fi AD can't penetrate walls or people, so it's confined to the same room as the router. Beam steering helps AD focus the signal. AD is more secure since it cannot be snooped from the outside. It might even have health benefits because it can't go into the human body. This router is a good choice and is currently the only choice if you are planning to use Wi-Fi AD. If not immediately, you can grow into it. The Talon AD7200 is a tri-band router with three separate Wi-Fi bands, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 60 gigahertz AD. Speed capabilities are 800 megabits per second at 2.4 gigahertz, 1733 megabits per second at 5 gigahertz, and a phenomenal 4600 megabits per second at 60 gigahertz. Add these numbers up and you'll get 7,133 megabits per second, which rounds up to 7,200 megabits per second. The router manages multiple technologies at the same time. The Talon AD7200 is backward compatible. It's like having an 802.11ac router with AD added as a bonus. With Mu MIMO on its AC band, the AD7200 can talk to three devices at the same time, as long as those devices also use Mu MIMO, like the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge phone. With Mu MIMO, my LAN doesn't slow down watching Netflix 
while kids are simultaneously playing Minecraft and Call of Duty. Acer Travelmate P648 and P446M laptops are 80211 AD compliant and work with the Talon AD7200. Additional Wi-Fi AD laptops, tablets, and phones are in the channel pipeline. I stress tested my Talon AD7200 router with four Ethernet connections and 25 active Wi-Fi devices. It works as advertised. Desktops, laptops, tablets, and smartphones, and printers, smart TVs, voice-over internet adapters, Wi-Fi range extenders, cloud cameras, smart plugs, and smart switches experience no buffering or disconnects. To connect over Wi-Fi AD, a laptop essentially needs a line of sight connection to the router. Range and coverage were good throughout the entire house on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. On these bands, the router appears to work just within the FCC's mandated power limits. If you need greater coverage, like in my garden, I recommend TP-Link's RE590T range extender, which works well with the AD7200. The Talon AD7200 has a web browser user interface. I use the Windows 10 Edge browser. The menu has a quick setup, basic, and advanced tabs. Quick setup gets you connected to the internet in 10 minutes. Basic displays a network map and allows fundamental changes. Advanced gives tons of settings to fine tune. For example, you'll find configuration settings for guest network, parental controls, quality of service, and VPN server. To disable the AD band, select 60 gigahertz wireless and simply uncheck enable wireless radio. On the advanced menu under 60 gigahertz wireless setting, channel can be set to auto one, two, or three. I assigned a different SSID name to each of the three wireless bands. 2.4 gigahertz was named Zeus, 5 gigahertz was named Zeus 5G, and 60 gigahertz was named Zeus AD, so that I could monitor exactly what was going on. Ordinarily, the same SSID would be assigned to all three bands, and a device falls back to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz if the AD signal is lost. Aside from the web browser user interface, I also use a free Android and iOS Tether app to check router status and configure basic settings. The Talon AD7200, currently TP-Link's flagship router, has a two-year warranty and 24 by 7 technical support for the life of the unit. A complete user guide, 126 pages, is available from TP-Link's website. If you never plan on using Wi-Fi AD, my router recommendation is the TP-Link Archer C5400. Using only 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, you'll get better performance at a lower cost from the TP Archer 5400 router. That's a tri-band router too. Instead of the AD band, you get a second 5 GHz band. Plus, the C5400 router uses NitroCam technology to increase speeds by 25%. Speeds are 1000 megabits per second at 2.4 GHz and 2167 megabits per second over each of the two 5 GHz bands. Using these numbers, 1000 plus 2167 plus 2167, you'll get 5,334 megabit per second, which rounds up to 5,400 megabits per second. I have a C5400 
5400 router at home. It's reliable, fast, and accommodates lots of devices running simultaneously. I hope you found this review useful. Goodbye and good luck.